Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home automation with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to some awesome news. Um, I have been in touch with a developer who has created some software for Windows, uh, which allows Alexa to control your PC. Um, and this is really clever stuff. So basically, it takes the history window uh, of your Alexa history from what you've been saying, and it reads from that history window and does things on your PC. Um, it does cool things straight out of the box like uh, Google search or Yahoo search, or if you hate yourself for some reason, Bing search. Uh, it can also do things like set your screensaver running, uh, but more importantly for me, it can do things like open applications. So it can open up an Excel window um, and also open up your online banking window if you perhaps wanted to do your banking uh, and do your uh, sums for your bills and that sort of thing. Uh, or for me, I can say, Alexa, I'd like to make a video and she'll open up the uh, Photoshop window for me, uh, open up Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, and open up the folder where I contain all my files and those sorts of things. Um, and that's what you're gonna see me doing today. So uh, here is an introduction to some software that absolutely rules, is currently free, uh, almost certainly will not be free forever. Uh, so get it while it's hot, uh, enjoy it while it's free, it won't always be, um, I guarantee it. Stuff like this is way too cool, it does deserve your money, uh, and one day you'll pay for it, and so will I. Enjoy. So, I'm going to, first of all, I need a browser window, so I'm just going to open up Chrome. And we're going to visit addtopads.com, which currently looks like this. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, um, via either a time machine or by living for a while, then this may look different. Uh, but right now, you can go to download here. Uh, and download the setup file. And I'm going to open the setup file up and I'm going to say yes, I want to make changes. Uh, now you might find if you use Avast antivirus that you need to disable Avast for 10 minutes. Uh, Avast didn't like this software when I installed it the first time around. Uh, Avast is a moron. I no longer recommend Avast. I'm getting rid of it. I'm sick of its nonsense. So anyway, I'm going to accept the terms and conditions and I'm going to install it to the C drive. Uh, typical install and then wait for this to finish installing. And that's installed. And now if I go to the C drive, this PC, C drive, you can see I've got add to pad in the C drive, web extractor, and I've got the extractor here. So if you're not in the UK, you're going to need to edit this file first of all. Uh, and it's the first line. Uh, and this line here basically connects to your Amazon account and views the history in your Alexa app. And it's the uh, kind of core as to how all of this works. So if you're in the States, you're going to need to change this to .com. Uh, if you're somewhere else, you're going to need to change it to wherever it is uh, you're located. Um, so you'll need to find out what this address should be first and then amend it in the connections. Uh, I don't need to do that. I'm in the UK and so is Jez, the awesome guy that made this software. So I don't need to change anything. So I've never actually used this software, so I'm doing this for the first time. I thought it would be more exciting that way. Uh, so I'm going to open up the extractor thing and I'm going to see what it does. And then when it doesn't do anything, I'm going to shout and swear and then edit the shouting and the swearing out of the video that you get to watch on YouTube <laughs> and figure out what it is I did wrong and then make it work. Uh, so this is exciting. I've not done this yet. Okay, so it's asking me to log in or register. I've not registered yet with Add to Pad, so I'm going to hit register. Put my details in. So I have a members key there. I'm not sure what the members key is for. Um, I don't appear to be able to. I don't appear to be able to copy and paste it anywhere. So <laughs> I guess I'm going to just trust that that is going to be available to me later on if I need it. Uh, and we are now in. You must be on the history page for web extractor to read commands. Okay. I'm going to sign in then. I'm going to take the box to keep me signed in. And we're in. Okay. All right, what can I do? Alexa, who is Michael Jackson? Michael Joseph Jackson was an American singer, yeah. songwriter, record producer, dancer, actor, and philanthropist. There you go. So I've got a Wikipedia page with Michael Jackson. opens in a window of that size because I believe in the settings that is specified and I think I could have it open to whatever size window I wanted 
Um, so it opens up browser windows. So this is stuff that works straight out of the box without any sort of messing around. Alexa, who is Beyonce Knowles? Beyonce Giselle Knowles, but who is an American singer? It's amazingly quick. So I noticed as soon as it heard the word who is there, it loaded up Google and then it stuck in the search once it heard the rest of the phrase. Um, so that is remarkably quick. That's amazing. Alexa, who sang Take On Me? Take On Me is by Aha. And that opens up YouTube so I can watch Aha do Take On Me. That's pretty awesome. All right, so let's do something cool. Let's uh, get it to load up Excel. Uh, so as I understand it, I need a folder somewhere which has got the shortcuts for the things I want it to load. So I'm just going to create a folder in the Web Extractor app called Shortcuts. And I'm going to search for Excel. Right click on it and go to Open File Location. Uh, and then I'm going to create a shortcut in my Shortcuts folder. Uh, I think I could just drag it. I don't want to move it to Shortcuts. Create shortcut. Okay, it's going to stick on my desktop. It's just irritating. Now to find the shortcut on my desktop, that's the shortcut there. That's the one that's just been created. I'm going to stick that in my shortcuts folder. Okay, I'm going to rename it Excel. Make it nice and straightforward. Uh, and I just need its location, so I need that. Uh, and I need to alter the connections in here. I have the relevant thing. The relevant thing is new URL, followed by the location, which was that, followed by the name, which was Excel. I'm going to need a phrase. I'm doing this completely backwards. The phrase we're going to call, I'll call it Excel, just see what happens. I save that. Let's see what happens. So I've just, of course, realized that if I, uh, if I shout and swear at um, that little lady in the corner, uh, and then edit it out of the video. Well, unfortunately, it won't edit it out of my uh, screenshots. <laughs> so you can now see how frustrated I'm getting. Um, so it turns out Excel is not a good phrase. She doesn't understand the word Excel. She can't hear it. Uh, so let's try calling it something else. Let's call it spreadsheet. And you know what? I know from experience it's probably better to put a space in between. So I'm going to hit save. I'm now going to refresh the phrases list. And now we're going to try again. Alexa, spreadsheet. Oh, God damn it. Okay, she wants it without the space because I can bloody well see. Let's try that. Save, file, refresh phrases list. Alexa, spreadsheet. That's absolutely awesome. Um, I notice it's opened it in the window size that I last had Excel open in. Uh, there is a way to get this to open to whatever size you like by uh, giving it some coordinates in that text file, uh, but I haven't managed to get that to work yet. Uh, Jess has it working though, so it's just me being rubbish. Uh, if you want that to work, you'll be able to get that to work, so that's cool. Okay, let's do something a little bit cooler then. Let's uh, Let's do multiple tasks. So let's do um, phrase make a video and then new URL. Then all we need to do is add our shortcuts to the shortcut list again. And so I'm going to open up first of all Photoshop. So I'm going to go open file location and then uh, create shortcut. I'm going to place it on my desktop. And then I can take my Photoshop shortcut, put it into the shortcuts folder. And I'll rename that to make it a bit easier, just Photoshop.
backslash Photoshop. I don't know if the capital letter matters, but I'll stick it in just in case. Uh, same again. I want it to open a few things. Um, uh, another thing I, I like to use is Reaper. Excellent software um, for recording audio. So I'm going to open that thing's file location. I'm going to create a shortcut. It's going to stick it on my desktop again. And then I'm going to copy the Reaper shortcut into my shortcuts. And I'm just going to rename it Reaper. Uh, what else do I need? I want Premiere Pro, which is not good software. It's fine. It does its job after a lot of messing around usually. Uh, so create a shortcut. Let's stick on the desktop. Yeah, go back to my desktop. Move that to shortcuts folder. And we'll just call that Premiere. I'll do. Uh, and finally, the location where I put my actual videos. So let's get rid of that. I wanted to open up a folder. Uh, SPC, Den Store, Reaper Sessions, Automation Channel. This is where I store all my videos that I'm creating. I'm going to get it to open that as well. Cool, so it's going to open a bunch of shortcuts from my C drive and it's going to open up the file location of my videos from my G drive. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to refresh the phrases list. And fingers crossed, Alexa, make a video. Awesome. How cool is that? That's going to be really handy. Um, not just for me, for all you people. This is uh, currently free. Uh, I don't know if Jez is planning on charging for it. Um, I imagine he probably is because this is way too awesome to be free. Um, and so, yeah, this doesn't even need a skill enabling uh, because she doesn't even realize that she's doing these things. The app uh, that Jez has created for your PC is just utilizing whatever is in her history window. So as long as um, she hears correctly the phrases that you say, uh, it will pluck out from the history window whatever it is you've written, uh, and it will perform actions on your computer. And whether that's loading a, a bunch of information from Wikipedia or from YouTube or from Google searching, or whether it's actually launching a shortcut like I've just done, uh, it will work as long as the phrase exists and you have created uh, the phrase with the correct format ing in the connections window. Uh, and it's dead easy to edit. You just use a notepad file like I've done. And when you save it, you just make sure you go to refresh phrases list and you'll be able to launch stuff like I have. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you like this dude, uh, hit that subscribe button and you'll see more of me. Uh, and if this has been helpful to you, maybe consider dropping me a donation on PayPal. Links in the description as usual. See you next time.